seemed like whatever I would do, my back would just bother me and I couldn't, you know, find any solution to it. On Friday, I basically said that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to race and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even, if I do race, I don't know if I'll be able to get past the swim. I was like having all these negative thoughts in my head and I never really have that, you know? But I knew I had to go out there and at least do swim. I'm not a quitter, I'm not gonna just roll over and, you know, say, I can't do this, you know, even though I've trained for it and all that. I believe that I have a strong will to succeed and that might inspire and change other people's lives. We got out of the swim, started like about five miles in the bike and you know I just got this like kick of energy and I told Matt, my guide, I was like, Matt, I'm gonna be an Ironman today. I think that finishing Ironman is kind of like overcoming you know my visual impairment. This will be with me for the rest of my life because I did the Ironman and no one can take that away from me. I had my goal of going to the World Championships and I accomplished that. And I had my goal of doing an Ironman and I just did that. And obviously I'm going to physical therapy school and my goal is to become a physical therapist and a successful physical therapist.